What's going on everyone? KJ here. Let's go right into my thoughts on episode 870 of Detective Conan titled Conan Disappeared on the Cliff Part 2. Link the episodes in the description below. Something that I always like really never knew about till like last week and sort of this week as well is now that I actually can make episodes, not episodes but reviews on episodes that I watch in anime and stuff and other things when they actually come out. I found out like wow, Detective Conan comes out so early on Saturday around like 8 a.m. So I really, because I woke up at around 8.30, so you know it doesn't take too long to type my review anymore, like the script, of course, and I can get right into it. But sorry for, you know, almost a minute there. But let's get right into it. So everyone, even Kogoro, were shocked when they found out what happened to Conan and the former robber. If you don't know, Conan tried to save the former robber from falling off the cliff, and in turn, he fell off too, because he has the body of a seven-year-old and not the body of a 17-year-old, so he wouldn't be able to pull him up properly. You know, even though that, Co uh, I'm sorry, even though Kokoro always, you know, calls Conan a freeloader and many other things, it's, you know, he still cares and it's nice to really know that because even if you don't like somebody, but you're always with them, you're always, like, they're always, you know, in you're always interacting with them and something bad happens to them, you may feel guilty, you may feel sad, so, you know, I, I like that. I like seeing that everyone really care is caring for his well-being. Of course, I already knew that they do, but... Still, at the same time, it's never really been expressed a lot before because a lot of times Conan really doesn't get in danger. So, well, not a lot, but like it's spread out. It's not every episode. But I also like that while everyone else was sort of emotional about it, and I, I can understand that, Conan, I mean, no, Hyber retained her composure and also backtracked Conan's steps prior to the fall. And also, about Conan and the former robber, like, surviving... I called it, like I actually did. So in the last review for episode 869, I made a little prediction that Conan might use his soccer ball belt to save him from a robber. And I was actually right. See, I knew Conan was gonna survive from the start, but I just wanted to know how. That was the important thing. I'm right, sorry, let me just, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, the, the computer, I don't know, but um, I'm also happy that the former robber turned over a new leaf because he, you know, he was able to help Conan and the others, especially the police, stop the robber group Zoro's next score. Um, and if you don't know about this, sorry, if you don't know this about me, I love it when Conan confronts culprits when they're really trying to do something big. So seeing like Zoro go in that place and turn up a whole bunch of things in the venue for the jewelry like event, and then they throw the tear gas or whatever gas in there. And they go inside after waiting, and then they just see a little boy. They're like, I love that, you know. Um, so even though Conan decided to bring up the former robber, which was pretty risky, the robber group duo finally were arrested. But at the end of the episode, I certainly got surprised. I never saw this coming, right? So remember how I just said, I just said that the former robber supposedly turned over New Leaf, right? I just said it. So, well, apparently, the photo he cherished or kept around with him, which was like a him and like a girl... He photoshopped it in order to mislead the other robbers, and he also used it to steal the group's money and transfer it to an offshore account. I never saw that coming. I always thought, okay, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be in this robber group anymore because they're starting to kill people, and he wants out, so maybe, you know, he's a good guy now. But apparently, he still has some evil left in him. Anyway, um, so, but of course, he got arrested too, and now he's probably going to go to jail for longer because he tried to steal money, even though he probably would have got less years if he had just, you know, did what he had to do and didn't do any of that bad stuff after. Um, but anyway, filler cases like these are the best because they leave me on the edge of my seat, crazy things happen, and most likely, you'll get blown away by the conclusion. You won't even see some things come and just hit, they'll like come at you and you're just like, wait, whoa, whoa what? So... Um, and then the epilogue after the ending thing was also pretty funny because, you know, Conan was chased by uh, Ran and the other detective boy, Sans Hybera, because he worried them. Um, and as stated before, you know, if the Detective Conan animators did episodes like this or something close, I feel like there'd be a lot less hate for filler cases because they impact you just as good as a plot one, you know? So instead of everyone, like, saying, oh, man, I'm not on a filler case. Oh, come on, when are we going to get plot? Then it's, like, episodes like this where you're like, wow, it does. It has nothing to do with the plot, but I'm still shaken by it like that episode definitely riled me up you know and i like that you know if they can keep that up yeah it would be amazing that includes this review thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video what you think of this episode of detective conan how did you think conan and the former robber would have survived the fall did you ever think the former robber would try to transfer the money in the first place in most filler cases like this 
would your opinion of them change or stay the same if, you know, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, I gotta reword that question, sorry. If most filler cases were like this, I didn't. I think I said it wrong, would your opinion of them change or stay the same? If you have any questions, theories, thoughts, suggestions, comments, or concerns, please know about them in the comments down below. With all that being said, until next time, I'll see y'all later.